<laughs> okay, so let's go out here and drill some holes. And let's take this with me. And uh, what else? I should have a cutter. Let me take a cutter so I can cut the wire. Uh, cutter, 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 cutter. Oh, I need a bigger cutter. I need a bigger cutter. Okay. Now, I don't know how this body cam is going to work with me doing this right now because I've got a very loose neck shirt on. When I say loose, I mean it's loose. It's worn out. It's definitely a bacon neck. Hey, Duff. So, it may or may not. Hey, boys. Uh, show or hold up or be stable or whatever. But, the good thing is, it shouldn't get in the way. I'm not trying to do anything. over here open that up and what do I have in here now where am I going to come down uh, I can see this is going to be a pain in the ass because they have this plastic housing which is one big sheet all the way down that was probably put in, oh for sure, before the seats even went in. However, this top piece looks like a separate piece, so I think that might be my ticket. So let's scoop my butt up here for a minute. Take off these two caps. Uh, No, I thought I seen a Phillips here. I did. If you snake it down, it's not a problem, it's just getting into it. This is where I wish I brought out my screw gun. Uh, you know what? I bet you I could put it right there. I can't. There's a double wall there. Okay. So where can I put it? Uh, well, I could put it there. I just have to drill two holes. Okay. So we're going to... I hate to put it there, though, because it's going to look kind of awkward. But I'm thinking about putting it right here. But then it's going to be sticking out this way. I'd rather have it in here more. Uh, yeah, that would be the place I'd really want to put it. Because then I can also hide the wire behind it. Uh, see there, it really just sticks up like a sore thumb. Uh, as much as that's going to be the easiest place to put it, that's not the place. I'd rather have it back here more. And then I can take this wire and bring it down. Well, it'll fall down by itself over time, but I can just take it and even wire tie it to the bracket here and I'm done. That's where I like to put it. I just don't know if I can. I really don't want to drop any part of the ceiling. There's no doubt. Oh, there's no need to. I mean, even if I want to put an antenna on the roof, I don't have to drop the ceiling to do it. Uh, you know what? That might be... How much do I need here? Hold on a minute. Let me see something. Okay, so if this sets in from the top these can bend 
You know what? I could put it right behind the light bar. That's what I can do. Okay, we'll do that. Let's see how close I can get here to make life easy for myself. Oh, oh the back. Oh. Let's get up on the roof here. Well, as high as I can anyway. All right, I don't want to put it in the channel because then I gotta worry about water. So, let's see. I could put this right here. I can. And that's where it's gonna go, right there. Because then I could take this and bring it down, and over time, this will just settle down, and you won't even notice it there. So, that's where I'm going. Here we go, going a hole in the roof of a van. Yeah, that's it. Right or wrong, here we go. It feels like the right place. I can tell by the, 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 the support of the roof is kind of like not there, so I'm not near a support. Get in there. Oh, sure, be that way, Rick. Uh. Hmm. The bit wants to keep popping out in that hole for me. Heat up. There we go. Okay. Now the bit let loose for a minute, so I got a little bit of squiggly around it, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so now let's see if I can step down a little bit. There we go. Trying to stay close to it. All right, the black wire I know is long enough, so I don't care too much. The white wire is the one that I got to get a pretty good measurement on. Well, you know what? I could put a plug on this end. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do that until I need to. If I ever have to cut it, then I'll plug it. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. So let's just say that, that goes there. So how much of this do I need? Can I make it to the front of the van and around the few bends? Now, from point A to point B is about 15 feet maybe. But I'm not going from point A to point B. I'm going down, around, over, down, this way, that way. So I need extra. So I don't want to cut it from there to here. You follow? So, uh, let's put this across here for a minute to help hold that in place, hopefully. Put a few pieces of weight on it and get an idea of where I'm at. And everything's got to get tangled up in the wire, just like when you're doing something with a hose. Naturally, the hose has to catch on everything. Okay, so this... Is about the length to there to there. So you know what? I'm going to take one more wrap. And I'm going to cut it. And that should be more than enough. There we go. So let's get this out of my way. Hey Lance. How you doing buddy? All right. Now I can't drop this through the hole yet because I gotta make a gasket, a gasket. I do, I do, I gotta make a gasket. And I gotta find some screws to fit the little holes. Um, do I see the light? I see the light, do you see the light? So it's not gonna be too bad to 
to get my fingers up in there and I put nuts on them. So I think I have just what I need. But you know what? Let's take this inside and uh, get a walk. All right, now what I'm looking for is I do have a piece of that rubber stuff that's already been cut. Throw that on the floor so I can trip on that a few more times before I decide to do something with it. So I'm looking for the piece that I already have cut. Oh, here it is. Ta -da. And now let me find the piece that I got a form it around that I just dropped on the floor. Here we go. Okay. So this has to fit around that. And I don't care if it's round, square, as long as it's on there. For now, I'm just going to cut a circle. You know, actually, where the hell did I have them? I know I got them someplace. Where? Well, I got a plan for this other stuff. Wait till I show you that plan. Huh, Tuck? Where do I have those? Ah. What I'm looking for here, I can't seem to find. Um, I have a mess up here. Let me throw this shit away. There. How many times have I cleaned this, guys? Oh, I need one of these. I gotta fill it out. Okay. is terrible. I know what it is I'm looking for. I got tons of them and I can't find them. This is crazy. Oh, here they are. Here we are. Okay. What these are, these are, uh, um, PVC uh, patches for um, tenders. You know, the rubber ducky things, the rubber uh, rafts, but the ones with the motors on them. I think that's going to work a lot better than this because this won't fall apart after a while in the sun because it's made to be in the sun. So I'm going to be better off with those, with this. All right, so let's take this, bend it in half, and make a little dimple in it here with the scissors. Just a little one, just to get an idea of where we're at. I see you. Doodler, 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 doodler. Okay, gotta go bigger. Gotta go bigger. See what's up on the roof, the outer part. It's not a big deal. That might do it. Let's see. Can I stretch that over that? Probably. Okay. So let's put this back here. Stay there. Don't be falling on the floor and knocking things down. I just want to clean this up just a hair. A hair. I'll say a hair. Okay, I heard that. Well, I cleaned up half of it. Well, that was a hell of a clean up, wasn't it? <laughs> my wife came out here and grabbed my good pair of scissors. 
I mean, these are good. It's just that the points on them were shot, so I got to point, repoint them. That'll work. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want the smooth side on the bottom side. And then let me get the black one through there. Let me get the black one through there. I say. Okay, so now this should pop right over that hole, which it do. See how it do? It do just what I wanted it to do. I love it when a plan comes together. Now if that'll everything just stay there for a minute. Uh, now, let me see, I don't need super long. These are probably gonna be long enough. But are they going to get me out of the way? Yeah, that should work. What I mean by that, if I put this down through the roof, through the through the roof and everything, is it going to stick out enough, which it will, but is it going to stick out enough to keep me away from all this shit when I'm trying to work with a nut and a washer? Or should I go longer so I'm down here more? Now I can probably go to about inch and a half to two inches if I had to because there is that much room. So maybe I would want to go longer because now when that goes through there, I have this room down here to work with and I'm not working up here, seeing that I'm up out of the way where I can't get to. So yeah, I think this is the way to go. So let me put these back over here. And I'll use these. So now I just gotta drill a few holes. I do, I do. Through the, uh, through the material. And let's make sure these are gonna fit these holes. I didn't think of that. Yep, perfect. All right, let me get a small bit so I can drill some hole nut there. And then I gotta deal with this piece of shit. And the bit that I need, I probably haven't got. Oh, maybe, maybe. I'm going to tell you something, guys. I've got Milwaukee over there. I got the DeWalt here. I've got the green uh, Ryobi, Yobi, Ryobi, whatever you want to call that damn thing over there. And I've got a bunch of blue ones that I have that I finally threw away. Um, and the only reason why I got rid of them is because the batteries were shot and I figured, well, now I got some good stuff. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I will probably never buy another DeWalt. <sighs> because it just keeps locking up. Uh, and then it slips when you're trying to drill, so that doesn't help. And the Milwaukee's, they just, you know, like, they work. And then, like, all of a sudden, poof. You know, and I know with the new batteries, they don't give you any warning anyway. But you know what? When I go back to these, I never have a problem. They're cheap. And they work. So if I have to buy anything, again, screw the $200 crap. Screw the $200 crap as far as the Milwaukee's. $60 crap works better. I'm done dealing with this other crap. I have nothing but headaches with it. I'm going to use what works best for me. Now, a lot of you guys use them and, you get, and they work for you. And I, I, I can understand if it works, do it. You know, I mean... Then I can say, well, maybe it's me, but you know, I mean, how many things can it be to where it's maybe it's me? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? It, why does some of them just keep ticking and the other ones don't? They're all getting treated the same. So what's the problem? You know, if I was using the, the, the Waltz and the Milwaukee's more and using them for things that I wouldn't normally use them for, like I wouldn't use that one for something, well, then I can understand it because I'm, I'm abusing it. But if I'm not using it for anything other than what it's supposed to be used for and it doesn't want to work, come on. You know, the chucks are made so you can get the, the, the drills in and out. The chucks are made so you can replace what you have to replace quickly. Not that you have to go get a pair of channel locks every time you want to take it out of there. So from now on, the only thing I'm going to buy are those. Now if the batteries go bad, just buy a whole new unit. It's cheaper. You get a battery, a charger, and everything, and a new unit for the price of two batteries. <coughs> And a lot of times you got to pay attention because we say, oh, the battery's bad. Well, did you ever stop to think that maybe the battery's good and the charger is bad? So now you just scrape together some nickels and dimes to go get a battery and find out it's not working. I had that happen with the, uh, what the hell was it that I bought? Rigid. I mean, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I think this is going to be a good idea to have out there. I'm going to take an extra one of these. I'm going to take extra of those because uh, I kind of got the feeling that I know I'm going to drop a few. Let's take a couple extra washers and another two just in case I drop a nut. All right, let me get a sip of coffee. Oh, sure, of course. All right, so if I ever get this done, I can start on putting those backup lights in. So I go from the roof to under the bumper. I just dropped a little washer already. There it is. At least under the bumper, I should have a fighting chance. Of, uh, you know what? I got adhesive out there. The only thing I want to do is get a little brush so I can spread it. Okay. So I need this, I need this, and I need this. And away we go. Now, guys, saying away we go. Coming this way, buddy? It's up to you. You know how to push the door open. And Nick.
Uh, got all these dead weeds. I finally got some of those. Got rid of them. I just gotta get them picked up. Come on. Okay. So much for that. Now let me get up on the roof. Up on the roof. spray adhesive. I don't like this gorilla stuff. <sighs> what a uh, what I don't like about the gorilla stuff is that the nozzle on it, even when it's working right, doesn't give you enough pattern uh, to do a large area before it starts to dry on you. If you know what I mean. It gives you like a little circle about the size of that. If you come out a little bit more, it'll go a little bit bigger. But it really doesn't give you what you need. Especially if you're trying to cut in a little bit, you know. Where the other one gives you a little bit more of a fan type. So, I think I got enough in here to do what I gotta do. Load it up a little bit. Spray it up down there because I can always wipe off the excess. I'd rather have more than not enough. Now the gorilla does make good tape. didn't bring out the little power drill that I wanted, did I? Uh, Wyobi, right? All right, watch. Done. No fighting with it. Okay, this is what I want. And... Barristol. That's what it was. Okay, let's see what we got here. There we go, Governor. Now. For the tough part, I don't like having a ladder sideways when I'm pushing against it this way. But in this case, it's the only way I'm going to do it. Alright, so we need a washer and a nut. A washer and a nut. And the sun to get out of my eyes. Oh, I'm not asking for much, am I? No. And I'm not going to be able to get all these, so I'm glad I put the long one in there. 
Ah, okay, I see you now. I see it now. Let me see if I can get a pair of needle nose out of the van. If I can get the screw. To, to turn, but then I have no way of holding the magnet. So I'm going to try these puppies here. Actually, these may be better. I'll take them both out there. If worse comes to worse, I'll have to wait for... Let's see here. I think it's the washer. The washer's going to be a problem. The washer is an issue. Because... I'm not going to be able to hold both. I know it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done. Without having the wife to help me. And naturally, the bifocals don't work upside down. Up on the wall. Let's see. Let me that, guys. This is going to be real lucky if I get this. <laughs> yeah, like I said, real lucky. Come on. Problem is, I'm trying to see. I can't because my five volts don't go upwards. Guess I could take a look, huh? Or try to anyway. Did I get it? I can't tell. Yeah, hey, I got that one. Okay. I would rather have a washer on with it, but at this point I can't be choosy. So let's try another one. Boy, I was lucky on that. Boy, whoa. That was lucky to draw. Now this one, because the wires are going to get in the way. And they're going to want to work against me at this point. Stop trying to cheat and get out of there. Yeah, sure. And again, trying to look at something that I can't see. I think I'm pretty close to it. I have to get up here without moving it. I got it. Oh, damn, two in a row? I don't believe it. Let's see. Yeah, all right. Now let's hold these down. I'm just going to tighten these right up. Screw it. This one's got to come out. Okay, now let's try to get it in. This one missed a hole. I mean, the hole's right there, but it's just being hard to get along with at this point. There we go. Now, I know once it gets in there, we'll be okay. pliers on that again. And what makes it worse is, is that uh, I'm working with the sun in my face. High noon.
So I'm battling the sun. I'm battling my pants wanting to fall off. Yeah, dropping a few pounds here and there, which is a good thing. I usually drop quite a bit in the way in the summer months. I haven't been dropping as much as I normally drop, which uh, makes it tough because what I do get in the winter uh, is just going to make it worse. Good deal. Now let's get the other one. Uh. The good thing is the wire should be easy to run. Uh, I won't get that run today, but Yeah, I won't get the wire run today. However, uh, it shouldn't be too, too bad. Because when I was putting the carpet down, I noticed that this here, uh, well, you may or may not be able to see it, but this gray part, because right now I'm sun blind, so I couldn't tell you if I'm even pointing at it. But this gray trim goes around this plastic, and underneath, there's enough room where I can just take it and kind of like get under it and pull it out a little bit so the wire will flop right behind it. That's what it appears to be anyway. So, uh, now there's two things I can do here. I can take this wire, run it across to the driver's side. The driver's side will be easier, but I don't want to cluster up the driver's side with a bunch of wires. I mean, they're gonna be buried but I really don't want to cluster them all up with a bunch of wires. If I go down this side, uh, I'm going to have to work around the door. Now, I think, I'm not sure. Before I run them anywhere, I'll find out. I think if I lift up that threshold on the floor over there, that I can get the wires under it and then put the threshold back down. And then in that case, it'll be a piece of cake. Because again, you don't want to have the wires getting in the way or falling out where somebody's going to end up tripping on them and ripping them out and getting hurt at the same time. So uh, I got to see which way. I'd rather go down this side because it'll keep the driver's side open because I got enough wires going on in the driver's side by the time I put the auto start in and the alarm system uh, and stuff like that. So... Uh, I like to keep the driver's side open. And uh, the battery switch also goes on the driver's side. So, but we'll see what happens. I think if, like I say, if I lift up the threshold, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute, but for now I'm just trying to get this done. Let's pick up another nut down here. Let's see if I can get this one. Now see, this is where I'm, I'm glad I put the longer screws because it allows me to get in there and nothing else getting in my way except me not being able to see because my bifocals. Now I asked my eye doctor, I said, eye doctor, can you have me, me uh, can you have made, uh, can you make me, how about that one, can you have made a pair uh, can you have made a fangoli fangoli okay come on now it's hanging out like a like a Klingon because of the uh, spray adhesive <laughs> come on I asked the eye doctor, I said, can you make me a pair of uh, glasses, specialty glasses, where the bifocals are on the top if I need them. I said, this way when I'm doing certain things, you know, I can use them. Oh, uh, they don't make specialty glasses anymore. That's bullshit. So, I don't use that eye doctor anymore. And uh, besides, I got that problem, and he never found it. 
with that crooked line. Okay, now, hopefully, that'll stay close enough to where to grab. So the other guy I go to found it now. Now, Harpy. No, didn't catch. I can tell right off the bat that it didn't catch. Okay. So, uh, I gave up the other guy. I mean, he was strictly... Here, let me check your eyes. Let me do the chart, you know, and let me sell you glasses. And uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, oh, we don't make those glasses anymore. Oh, shit. They make anything you want to make. Don't tell me you don't make it. You just don't want to be bothered because you don't because you don't do it. Okay, now there it is. Now come on, right there. Let's not be difficult, guys. Come on. The first two went easy. The other ones are gonna break my back. Oh, 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 don't move. Oh, I gotta go one more step. Uh, I don't want to do this. The more I go up, the more I gotta worry about this thing moving on me. I think I got it. I'm not positive. There's a little spray adhesive on the one that I'm working on now, so when I grab it, it kind of, yeah, I got it, good. It kind of uh, slows down as if it was tightening up because of the spray adhesive got on there. Now, let me see here, come on, right there, there we go, come on, nice, nice, nice. Now, let's see here. Got one more, and that's going to be the pain in the ass. There. Thank you. Ops went down for a few minutes. So they went to uh, dispatch channel for a few until they uh, got back up and running. Okay, I got one more to go. Okay, like I say, I'd much rather have washers on them, but at this point, just getting the nuts on there. And I got them sealed anyway, so it's not a big deal. And I got some white of that, the white rubber seal stuff, so I can spray it out on there if I have to on the top side. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, now wait a minute, guys. You're not supposed to be that way. So let's get to a position where I can work with you. That's the position. Well, that's not a very good position, you asshole. Screw broke. No wonder I couldn't get it on. Well, smart ass me. Thought of it all of it. Thought of it. And I have another screw. Now, let's do this. Put that there. Put that there. You know what I'm going to do? 
I'm gonna make sure that that hole is okay. There we go. Good deal. Should have nothing except my ability to stop me from getting this done. Well, I guess my glasses could stop me. Now, being sunblind at this point doesn't help. This is not going to work, I can tell. This grabs it'll be a miracle. Don't tell me it did. Wow. Thank you, God. Thank you. It, if you've seen the way that I had that up there and how crooked it was and how far off it was, you would have said, never, ever gonna catch. I, I don't even know why I tried it because it was that far off. It was that crooked. just water at this point or maybe a little whatever it is I may have here I may have some sudsy water of sort I may or may not I know I got Windex which will work I want to spray up there to get that uh, crap off all right. Oh, by the way, here's the light bar. The adjustments worked. It fits in the gutter the way I want. Comes across. All right. Now it's not tightened down yet, but it's tight. It's not going to fall off if I have to go someplace. But it's not snug down to where I can say it's okay. Uh, but like I say, I could take off with it. I can drive from here to wherever I want to go. Just that I want to make sure she's locked down, if you know what I mean. All right, let's spray some of this ballastol. This stuff is good, but I don't like the smell. So like I say, I won't use it in the house. And I won't use it on my guns. A lot of people do, but I won't use it on my guns. Okay, where the hell's the lock? <laughs> Lock's over there. Okay, where are you there? Okay, it's right there. Okay.
And I don't have to worry about that being super tight because it's not relying on anything for it to be tight. You know, as far as grounds or anything. I just don't want it to fall off. So, but other than that, that is it. Let's a little bit of these on the nuts so I don't rust them up. Do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to shut the door so I can spray it down a little bit. There. So we got acorn nuts on everything. And there's the light bar. See right here, I just got to snug this down to get rid of that little bump right there. But as soon as I snug that down, it'll be fine. And it'll look like that side. And it's pretty well even. So I'm not going to worry about it. Alright. So the wire is down and in. Now, to get it from here, I think you're seeing this, from here down to here is not a big problem because this is all hollow. I may have to drill a little hole down here. So if I do that, I just put a plug in it. Oh, maybe not. There's a hole right here. So I may be able to get it right there. <coughs> uh, but for the most part, that's where we're at. All right, so let me lay that down there. Let me uh, put that there. This has just got water in it now, so i got to take this out of here. And uh, this is empty. Where's my water bottle? Oh, here it is. I still have Valerie's stripper pole in. I mean, what the hell, if I ever make it to Virginia, she can show me how to use it. <laughs> so. All right, let me shut this down for a minute. And uh, hose that. I find the boat brush works great for washing the van's roof. Or even a car brush station wagon. And they make different ones. They make a yellow one and a blue one. The blue one is a little, a little bit more harsh. The yellow one is a little easier. Yeah, you let your boys down. You give them a treat, they're gonna hit Gonna get a whole lot of these. I have no idea who that was. They 
buy new cars, and then they ride by like I can see in the car. Uh, they bought a new car. Had the factory tent. And uh, the front windows were tinted as well, the sides, but not as dark as the rest of them. But, you know, it was still factory, so it was okay. It was safe. It was like that. But the back ones were a little bit darker. And, uh, he was sitting in the backseat. He's in the parking lot. He's sitting in the backseat. Because he said he had more room back there. Oh, yeah, you bought a car that you're not comfortable sitting in. This doesn't sound right to me. But meanwhile, I pulled in, not knowing the car, not seeing him because he's in the backseat. I'm hanging around waiting for him. I'm talking to a few guys, having coffee. He comes up, he says, what's the matter? You're not talking to me? What are you talking to me? Oh, I didn't know you couldn't see me. One more move with the ladder. Just get this side done. Man, this room is filthy. Yeah. Let's well, move the ladder and get the rest of it done on this side anyway. Uh, Pressure checker sensors that tells you when your tires are low. It's got the traction control tow package. I mean, it's got a lot going for it, but it's still just a van. But, uh, the files are smaller, so you can fit a whole lot more on the, uh, on the CD. I take pictures. So what are you doing? So I'm taking pictures. Well, there's no damage. Like I said, there's no damage. But like you said, you'll never know what pops up later. Because right? like I say, she's a drunk. She could take the car, go have an accident with it, be drunk, forget she had the accident, and then come back and say, look at the damage you did to my car. So... But, uh, so I guess if something like that can accidentally happen in a parking lot, in a condo, somebody in a dead-end street can misinstrued the same thing, I guess. Uh, but, uh, I'll tell you, the fire department here, I don't know how it is around your area, but it seems like our fire department is awful, awful giving. I mean... They get calls because somebody locked themselves out of the car. You know what? Call triple A. You know what it costs to send a fire truck out to open up your car door? Eh? Yeah, you're paying taxes, but your taxes, one year taxes doesn't cover one trip. You know? You can get triple A for a hundred bucks for crying out loud, you know, for the year, or two hundred bucks for the year, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. We got it, we've had it for I don't know how long. All right, uh, I got the plus package, you know, where they tow you 100 miles and all that kind of stuff, which actually comes in handy, but that's another whole long story. But, um, 
yeah, at that point, you know, uh, they, they go out for these things, you know. Uh, oh, I lock myself out of the house. They go out for that. Yeah, you know, come on. You know, fire department is not there to open up your door. You know, you know, I fall and I can't get up. We're coming. House is on fire. We're coming. Car is on fire. We're coming. Your pet stuck up a tree or down a sewer. We're coming. Uh, you know, you lock yourself out of your car. Shame on you for not having a spare key. You lock yourself out of the house. Shame on you. You don't have somebody else to call that has a key. If you don't, you better have a spare key. Strap it around your ass because you're gonna need it. Yeah, I mean they don't. They don't. They just call, and the department goes. You know, I mean, I don't know. Is it like that everywhere else, or is it just my town that seems to cater to all the wackadoos or the people that, you know, forget? Now, I forget myself. You know, I mean, I've done things like that. But I'll call Triple Air or I'll call my wife. I'm not going to call the fire department and take them from something that they should be doing, you know, that's important, you know. Uh, and costing the town thousands of dollars to send somebody out there so that you can get in your house. All right, so meanwhile, I'm going to try to get this down here just to see how it works. Oh, shit. That goes down there pretty darn easy, doesn't it? Yeah, but is it going down to where I can get it? That's the next thing. Because again, I don't want to have to take any... Oh, it's down there. That went right down. Can you see it? I don't know where it went down there, but it's down there. I guess if I drill a hole, a round hole, right about there, I should be able to find everything I need. Because now this one's going to go down too. However, this one is not going to drop down quite as easy because it's got all kinds of kinks in it. And it's not going to go down all the way because I don't want to have all this stuck down there getting caught on something. So what I'm going to do is get this straightened out a little bit. I'm going to open the windows on the front of the end. And then I'm going to go in the shop for a while. Now, let's see. Well, if this is any indication of the way this whole thing is going to run, I'm in good shape. Okay. It's not going to go any further than that until I cut a hole. So, should I do that now? <sighs> no, you know what? I'm going to sit up front for a minute because i got to figure out where I want to put things. Oh, there's my bottle of water. Okay. So let me get up there for a minute. Everything that's in here can stay in here. Okay.